Now, the next thing we are going to look at is generating API user and API key. Now, for you to be able to make requests to the APIs, you need to generate an API user. This is the user that will be authenticated, and this is the user that is going to be used to make a request to the API endpoint. Okay, so in doing so, what we do, what they use here is what we use here is the credential for Open API. We use the subscription key, okay, and then we use API user and API key for authentication too. We will look at that shortly. Wherever you see OCP APIM subscription key, it refers to this primary key, okay. This primary key. If you click on Show, wherever you see. This OCP API M subscription key, you are supposed to provide that primary key for that product that you are going to use. Okay. Also, when you see X reference ID, you are to provide a universal unique ID version 4. I'll show you where you can get this. Okay, I'll show you where you can get it. There's a website where you can just generate from the purpose of what we are doing, or in the various platforms, there are uh, Packages that you can install that can generate for you. Uh, there will be one on PHP if you are a PHP developer. If you are no developer, there is one there. Depending on your platform, you can get UUID so you can use as your reference ID. Okay, reference ID. Now, the next thing we'll do, we're going to look at is to go to the sandbox provisioning. This sandbox is where we're going to do our testing of the APIs and everything. We'll be able to generate the API user and we'll be able to use the API user and then the API key to get generate authentication tool to make our request. All right, so without talking much, let's use this to create our API key in the user sandbox. All right, and then we see how we can go from here. So back to the browser, you go to API Sandbox. So I click on it, and then whilst it is loading, I want to quickly launch the Postman, okay? Because this is where we'll be doing a lot of stuff. So developer tools and then Postman. So I'm going to create a new collection. I'll make this collection available to you. So MTN Momo API, okay? Now you uh, talk about um, API for sandbox environment. Okay, so I'll create it and then I'm done with it. So I have my Momo API here. That's why I'll be putting a whole lot of stuff in here. So uh, Postman is ready. Let's go back to the browser. Now, if you open back to the API sandbox, the first thing, the API sandbox, the first thing we are going to do is to generate uh, the API user and we can use that to get that key. Now, you cannot do any of, you cannot test any of these requests, okay? You cannot do any of these without having the user because each of them requests that one. So you see the product here, you have collection, disbursement, remittance, collection widgets, sandbox user provisioning. So this is where we we'll go, you click and then expand sandbox user provisioning. And then we look at the first one. This is sandbox user provisioning. The API changes, okay fine, we're not going to look at that. And you can click try it so that you can, everything that you're doing, you can just test it on the sandbox. But I'm using API, uh, I'm using Postman so that I can share my API is with you so I can get in a different platform. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so this is the request URL. I'll just click copy that one and then move to Postman, then paste it here. And let's see, let's go to this is about API user. So I'll, I'll just name this request as API user. When I'm done, I'll just save it as API user. So it requests X reference. Now, if you check the S reference ID, it's a format UID. So this one uses version four as a request header. So I'll look for the header and then put the key there. And then I have to quickly go to a, a site that can help us get the ID that we can generate. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just entering the site. See, as soon as you get here, okay. It shows you, it generates a UID for you. You can click click on this and then use it. Anytime you refresh the page, it will 
generate a new one for you to use but i don't want to always come back to you on this page so i'll just go to where they have their apis so i can try this one so i'll put it in the postman and then if i send a request okay i'm going to get the key so i can save this one why 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 can't i save okay so i have to select the collection that i created i'll save it in the momo and then save so i've saved it so anytime i come back to this tab and then i click i'm going to get a new uid so i can copy right from here and then i'll come into this place and then paste it here oh well, why did i put it on here i think when i was just putting the reference i didn't check it well so I won't, i'll close this one i'll come back to it again and then aha, i wanted to copy this one so i've copied it i'll come back to it that is a header that i wanted to use okay so i'll paste that one in here and then what does it request require for me to do content type this optional uh body send to the api and remember this i told you about it the oc api i am subscription key i'm going to copy and you're also going to use that as a header and you can get the value from your subscription page so we are going we are currently going to test the uh, collection so this is where, what you use so the subscription key i'll just quickly go in here show mine is it secondary or primary let me see this okay fine i'll use the secondary one and height and then paste it here right and after this i have to continue with the website to see what they say then it says request body this is what i have to submit as request body a url where you can um you know when there is a callback if it goes through successfully and then you want to receive a response they will leave the response to this url so let's see that should be in the body the bot body which we are going to use application json like i i said earlier on i just pasted it here so for callbacks usually i use this website to test the callbacks this is where you can use um you can you can use it to test if you have this webhook i'll just provide the link to in the i'll just provide you with the link when you are here what happens is that if you copy and then you make any request this is this part is waiting for any request that will be made on the on and so if i i should go to the postman and then I'll make any request paste the link here i don't know why the copy didn't work but i have to copy it myself and then manually copy it and then paste and then send a request so if i make any request see 200 which is okay if i go back to the website then you will see the request details here you can see the request details and everything so if the mtn services or mtn api makes any callback and then places it on this url that i'm going to provide i'll see it here okay so depending on the status you can use it to say that your your work went through successfully and you can maybe do something that uh, server end in your code to say maybe transaction went through successfully and therefore you are going to save the record in your database all right so let's continue now that i have url here i can use that as the callback so i'll save this as i will not save this one because you're not going to use it don't save you're not going to need this one so we still want to generate I paste it here and then let's go back and see what they need okay so call back so when we post this we are supposed to get a response 201 created that means our user has been created so let's quickly make a, it's a post so i've just changed it to post and then i click on send let's see what we are going to get and good we had 201 that means um, the user has been created by their response 201 means the user has been created